What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Unobtainables, and in this series we go ahead and look at the unobtainable weapons inside Borderlands the pre-sequel. And when I say unobtainable, I mean currently unobtainable. So somewhere down the line, these weapons can become obtainable, and I very much expect them to be, so... If they do ever, which they probably will, become obtainable in the future, you do not need to comment on this video telling me, hey, you could get this, what are you talking about? Because, you know, if I don't say this every video, I'm probably going to get those comments. I'm probably going to get those comments anyway, because people like the troll, but still, but still. But anyway, guys, anyway, in today's episode, we're going to be looking at the machine. Now, the machine is a unique Vladov sniper rifle. And it's a good Vladov sniper rifle in the sense where uh, it has the minigun barrel. You know if a Vladov sniper rifle has the minigun barrel. It is an automatic beast, but the special thing about this gun is that it has 100% continuous bonus damage. So, if this ever gets released to us, because this one doesn't seem to be bugged, it just doesn't seem to like drop anywhere in the game can't really obtain it from the grind or anything that's what it seems like I could be wrong if you know of anything you could tell me but from what I uh, can gather there's no information about this gun anywhere and it's not bugged it's not bugged or I'd be able to figure out that it's bugged just like you know how I well not really me I just have uh, have buddies that know what they're doing inside the code I have the, the buds the buds the buds bro fist to the buds by the way you guys are great have some kokomo but anyway but anyway um this gun is a, a beast 100 percent continuous damage bonus so you probably want to run like the magazine size prefix for this so you could make full use of that continuous damage bonus because you know you know it just makes sense the longer holding down the trigger means like the bigger your magazine size is so the more of a chance you're gonna have to get to that 100% continuous damage bonus. So it's basically like uh, the E-Gun or the Rosie or the Viber Pulse where they have, the, where they have that uh, continuous damage bonus. Now in lasers, it's, it's, a, it's a lot bigger, but lasers have a lot less damage on the card than a sniper rifle does, obviously. Now with this sniper rifle, it's really, really good, but it shines the most when fighting bosses. This is a boss killer. Because you don't normally just hold down the trigger against normal enemies, because they're not going to take too many bullets. They'll take, like, a few crits. And this one isn't really that good for using against, um, uh, just regular enemies anyway. If you want, like, a Vlada sniper rifle that's good for just regular mobs, for just mobbing, you probably want to go with the long nail. Get that over from, uh, the raid boss. I think the raid boss... I know the raid boss drops it. His lower form may drop it as well. But, but... The long nail is a better Vladov sniper rifle for mobbing, but for this boss, not for this boss, for <laughs> this gun, the machine here, it is way better for boss killing. Like, Ira Lira, just like, dead, deaded, dead, dead. And for like, I can only imagine, like, putting one of these on Nisha and having her go fight the raid boss with like her aimbot. It would probably just like instantly die, and I'll probably do a video on that later today. And if it's something, if it's something incredible, I'll go ahead and put it up and pop it in the description of this video. But, but it's still a very, very good boss killer on like any character. The only problem with it is that it doesn't have a lot of ammo. Sniper rifles don't carry a lot of ammo inside this game, which is pretty sad. Because in Borderlands 2, at the very end, they carried a considerable amount of ammo. They really did, but from the release of the pre-sequel... Um, the amount of SDUs we could buy are the same as the amount we could buy at the beginning of Borderlands 2, which sort of makes sense, but sort of doesn't. Like, honestly, sniper rifles have way, way too little bit, like a way, way too little bit of, like, ammunition. I mean, if you're running a Jacob sniper, it's it's not really going to matter because you don't need to use that many bullets anyway. But for Vladov snipers, you want as many bullets as possible because you're just going to be like spraying critical hits into the bosses. They're just going to die. They're just going to die. So if we ever would, I imagine we would, get more ammo SDUs, it would be great. This gun would be great with more ammo. Just like double the ammo count. Even if you double it, you'd have to like give this gun a crazy amount of ammo because even if you double it it's still uh... <laughs> it's still gonna run through ammo very very quickly it's it's a bullet hose flat off weapons are bullet hoses and the snipers are no exception to that no exception whatsoever But 
If this gun had more ammo, it'd be really, really good. And I wonder how we'll get this. Now, probably from, like, a public event. See, it seems that, you know, public events are going to be a thing. Did it with the Jacko Cannon. Um, we have the whole celebration barrel thing where you could get, like, a... Uh, what was it called? What's that grenade even called? Pocket rocket? No, that, no, that's a pistol. What was it called? I can't believe I forgot. No, I can't believe I forgot what that grenade is called because um, uh, it, it's a useless grenade that nobody ever wants to use. I I don't know what it's called. You don't need to tell me. I'll figure it out after the video. Don't fill my comment section with answers. <laughs> Because, um, the last video actually did very, very well. You guys uh, blew me away with the whole, like, 52 likes thing. So, that's pretty crazy. So, and a lot of you watched, uh, seem to have watched the last video. So, a lot of you are going to watch this video, hopefully. So, you know, I don't need to, like, spa the comment spam for, like, a grenade that's not important. But anyway, um, this would probably come from a, pum from a pu 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 pumpkin. From a pumpkin. No, not a pumpkin. From a public event. Probably. Uh, I do not see any of these unreleased guns being released to us in DLC because, you know, selling off guns in DLC when they've uh, already been put into the game have, has, like, never been done before. Like, I cannot recall in any Borderlands game where the gun was already in the game files and they popped it, they made a droppable in a DLC and basically made you pay for it when you could basically just get it from, like, Gibbed or something for free. I have never, ever seen that. And that seems like a very scummy thing to do, Gearbox and 2K, but I don't think they'd go they'd go and do that. I really don't think they'd go and do that. It would probably be from a public event of some kind. But what kind of public event is the question? What do you guys think? I love to hear what you guys have to have to say. I know in the last video someone said that the, uh, the old painful could possibly drop from Mercenary Day. Like, to do this whole, like, Mercenary Day thing, which, of course, is Christmas in the Borderlands universe. And I thought that was pretty cool. Good way to in implement Mercenary Day. Mercenary Day. Because they implemented Bloody Harvest very well. And of course, Bloody Harvest is uh, the Halloween is Halloween in the Borderlands universe. And uh, it was pretty cool seeing the reskinned enemies. I mean, it's just reskinned enemies, but it's still pretty cool. Um, I'd love to see what they'd do for Mercenary Day. And other people have said that, uh, you know, the Heartbreaker would come from Valentine's Day, which uh, is kind of kind of obvious since they did that in Borderlands 2. Twice, if I may add. But still, still. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I'd love to hear your theories, everything. Just lay it on me. Lay it on me in the comments section. Now, that's pretty much it, guys. I want to thank y'all for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.